Thank you, you know, so much for watching. Yeah, my name is Lee Kevin. Me to dinner. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for coming. How's it going, everybody? So you may be wondering, how did I get Meet Kevin to take me to dinner? Well, you see, the truth is, I went to meetkevin.com/donate and I donated a hundred dollars. All right, let me tell you what really happened. So yesterday, I went to the Meet Kevin rally in San Francisco. And I donated $100 to purchase a raffle ticket. The prize for the raffle was that 12 people got to go to a Michelin-starred restaurant and eat dinner with Meet Kevin. So to me, that was a no-brainer. Pay $100 and possibly win a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Kevin and go to a super expensive restaurant and eat really good food. Yeah, I'll pay 100 bucks for that. And the crazy thing was, I actually won. I never win anything, so that was super cool. And I felt like Charlie winning the golden ticket to go see Wonka's factory. So that was awesome. Once again, thanks, Kevin. Oh, wow. I'm so sunburned. Should have listened to my wife and brought sunscreen. All right. So before I start, I just want to let you know that I was not paid by Meet Kevin to make this video. He doesn't even know that I'm making this video. And this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So I just want you to know that before I get started. So you're not saying, oh, Kevin paid this guy to make this video. No, Kevin doesn't even know I'm making this video, but it was super cool to meet him in person. I just want to put this together. So I found out about the San Francisco rally and I thought this is super cool. This is the closest rally to where I live so far. And I'm not going to miss this opportunity to go and see this rally. So I wanted to go and show my support and travel out to San Francisco to possibly have the chance to meet Kevin and his crew. So I figured I'd go there and I'd show up a little bit early, so hopefully I could meet them while they were setting up. How's it going, everybody? So I'm headed off to San Francisco to hopefully meet, meet Kevin. That'd be really cool. I'm gonna go to his rally and show my support because I think his plan is really good. The drive wasn't too bad. There was quite a bit of traffic, but you know, it wasn't too bad. It's normal California traffic and get used to it. Gotta love that California traffic. Pit stop, because I drank too much water. Currently passing through the hometown of Papa Roach, Vacaville, California. So the rally was supposed to start at four, I got there at noon. I went there and I looked around at City Hall in San Francisco and there was nothing in sight. So I decided to go wander around San Francisco. I'd never been there before, you know, I've heard a lot about it. There's a lot of cool sites and things like that. And I didn't want to move my car so I, I parked it and I decided to walk. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> those hills in San Francisco are no joke. It was quite a hike. And as I was hiking, wandering around all day, I got baked by the sun. <laughs> so I figured, I looked at some of the sites and I was like, you know, Lombard Street isn't very far away from City Hall. So I'm gonna wander up and, and see if I can see Lombard Street. Tons of hills, probably a bad idea. It was worth it. And I went, I saw the street, thought that was pretty cool. And I was like, you know, I kinda wanna see Alcatraz. Cause when I was driving in, I saw the Golden Gate Bridge and I saw Alcatraz, but there was like, a huge thing of fog sitting right on top of Alcatraz. I was like, well, that adds to the creepiness factor of it, but you know, that's cool. Well, come to find out, the fog is a very normal thing in San Francisco and the locals have given it a name. They call it Carl the Fog. So I went and got to a different spot where I was pretty close where I thought I could see Alcatraz, looked out, the fog was still sitting on it. Thanks Carl for sitting on Alcatraz so I couldn't see it. So after that I wandered around a little bit more, tried to walk over and see if I could see the Golden Gate Bridge, but it was pretty far away and I had done a lot of walking and I didn't want to be late to the rally. So I decided that I needed about an hour or so to walk back and the rally was going to start in about two hours so after I couldn't really see the bridge I decided it was probably time to turn back. So I got back and finally found that I was in the right place. I found that Kevin's crew was setting up and they were all super cool. I wandered over and asked them if they needed me to help out with anything and help them out with a couple little things, but I got to meet them and meet the guys that work every day with Kevin. So that was super cool. And his crew is really cool. It's a bunch of great guys. There's another YouTube channel that's working with them right now called Method Box and they make a bunch of great videos too. You should check out their channel as well. I'll leave a link to their channel down in the description. They're a bunch of great guys. Work with Kevin every day. They say that Kevin works just as hard every day as it appears in his YouTube videos. He's constantly going. He's like the Energizer Bunny. 
and he's always going getting things done he's always got different ideas and different plans and things that he wants to get done and honestly a person like that could get a lot done in a leadership position so I think that's super cool so then Kevin showed up and started helping to set everything up with the crew and just like they said he was go 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 he didn't stop I didn't want to interrupt him because he was super busy while he was setting everything up making sure all the cameras were set up right making sure the sound equipment was set up everything was set up how he wanted it and so I wanted to go up and meet him because there wasn't all that many people there yet and Kev meet Kevin was right in front of me but he was so busy, I didn't want to go and interrupt him. So then right as the rally started, when Kevin started to talk, they said that they were going to be having a raffle. If you win in the raffle, you get a chance to go out to dinner to a Michelin-starred restaurant in San Francisco with Meet Kevin and his crew. So I thought, that's a super cool opportunity, and I'm probably never going to get this again. So I'm going to buy a raffle ticket, and I want to support Kevin. I want to donate to help his political campaign. So one of my favorite things about Kevin running for governor is that Kevin is not a politician. Kevin is a businessman. And the reason that I like this so much is that, in my opinion, I feel like politicians take years and years and years working their way up the ladder, becoming a better politician. That gives them the opportunity to learn all the tricks of politics. And I'm not a huge fan of politics. And so, but what I like about Kevin is that he's a businessman. When he sees a problem, he's going to fix it because in your business, if you have a problem, then that's costing you money and that way you're losing money. So if you see a problem, you're going to do whatever you can to fix it in the best way possible. Well, Kevin, as a businessman, becoming the governor of California, will see the problems in California like a business problem. And he will try to find the best solution to make it so that the business of California runs most optimally. Another thing that I thought was cool during the rally was that Kevin got down off the stage grabbed his microphone and started walking around amongst the crowd, which is really cool. Makes it seem like he's not there to be up above all of us. And so it was cool that he kind of integrated himself with the crowd. During the rally too, I turned around and looked and I saw a familiar face and I was like, no way, that's Ask Sebi. And he's got a big YouTube channel as well. So I thought it was really cool. Thank you for doing that picture. So then at the end of the rally, they did the raffle. So the first ticket they called was 508005. I was like, no, I was so close. And then, so they kept going. And later on, once again, 508008. No way, I won. So that was super cool. I was super excited. Not only did I get a chance to meet the crew. Now I get to go hang out with them and I actually get to meet Kevin. So that was super cool. And then we went to this restaurant that was so good. And I'd never been to a Michelin starred restaurant before. And it was an awesome experience. And all of the other winners were super cool too. It was really fun to meet everybody and hang out with them and to have that experience. So then when we were all at dinner, Kevin had rented out the entire restaurant for a few hours so that we could all eat and just all hang out together. And he came and sat down at each one of the tables with all of the winners and talked to us for five to ten minutes, which was really cool. All right, they're on. I'm on. Thank He's you so on. much for watching. Yeah, my name's Lee Kevin. Me to dinner. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for coming. You bought a raffle ticket. You won, yes. and you brought a plus one. It was really I helpful. <laughs> we played Rust together. Yeah. It was like a live, personalized YouTube video with Meet Kevin. And he asked us about our finances, what were some of the things we were investing in, things that we could do better, and things that he was impressed with. So that was really cool, have this personalized experience. And then Ask Sebi actually came to dinner with us too, which was really cool, because then later on we were talking to him, and it was like a whole other live YouTube video. He was giving us advice about credit cards. So that was super cool. We're getting schooled live from YouTubers. So this experience overall, definitely once in a lifetime, awesome opportunity. And it was totally worth $100 that I spent on the raffle ticket. It was so cool. It was an awesome experience to meet Kevin, to hang out with that whole group of people. And I think we created a lot of friendships and met a lot of cool people, which was what I was hoping to do by going to the rally. I was hoping to meet a lot of cool people, hopefully meet Kevin in person, 
and make a lot of friendships. And I actually met a person that lives in the same town as me that I didn't even know he was there. And he's actually one of Kevin's chat moderators, so that's pretty cool too. So overall, it was a super fun experience. So you may be wondering, why is this guy, Zach's Money Facts, making a video about politics? And I wanted to point out some of the reasons why I think this is important for finances. So Kevin, being a businessman, has put together this really good 20 point plan. And all of his points point back to increasing the wealth of each of California's citizens. Now let's talk about why this is important. So not too long ago, being a money nerd, I was reading an article about why Switzerland is so rich. In the article they're saying that Switzerland doesn't have many natural resources. So how is it that they're one of the wealthiest countries in the world? And they were saying that it's because of their ability to take raw materials and turn them into something great, like taking chocolate and creating some of the most luxury chocolates in the world, creating jewelry and creating pharmaceuticals. They have some of the best banking and wealth management services in the world. So Switzerland is definitely doing something right and their citizens are benefiting from all of this wealth creation in their country. So now what does this have to do with us here in California? Imagine Kevin makes it as governor. Look at all of his different points. He wants to help homeless people get back on their feet. He wants to change the school system so that kids can get jobs sooner. He wants to help nonviolent prisoners get a second chance, learn, work, and get back into the world and make a difference. He wants to bring big businesses back to California to create more jobs. Because when big businesses leave, we lose money, we lose jobs, more people are struggling because they don't have a job. Some of those people even become homeless, so it makes it even harder for them. And there's so many different things that his plan will help each of us make more money. Kids in future schools will be able to get jobs sooner, but also learn about financial education while they're in school so they can start investing earlier and make more money, have more money to spend so that when they're renting out houses, they're buying extra properties, or they're investing in stocks, they're gonna go to Home Depot, they're gonna go to different places, they're gonna hire contractors and engineers to create more money and more wealth in California. One of my favorite books is The Richest Man in Babylon, and there's a quote in there that goes along the lines of, if you haven't been able to acquire wealth or you're in a poor financial situation, it's because either you don't know the laws that govern wealth building or finances, or you fail to follow them. And I think one of the biggest problems we have in our country and in the world is that we don't know much about financial education. We don't know much about personal finance. We don't know hardly anything about wealth building. I didn't learn anything about investing until after I was finished with college. So this hurts all of us. And one of the biggest assets in building wealth is time. The earlier you can get started, the more time your investments have to grow. And so by teaching these financial education classes and teaching what businesses want in these future schools to high school students, it saves them a lot of time and it helps them start building their wealth at a much earlier age. So this is why as a financial YouTuber, I'm reaching into the realm of politics a little bit because I think Kevin is the best chance that we have to turn California into the Switzerland of the United States. Kevin can make each of the citizens more wealthy because he can help us all learn how to better manage our finances. And who knows, if Kevin becomes governor and makes all these dramatic changes to California, maybe he can go further. Maybe he can go further into the politics of the United States and help the United States give Switzerland a run for their money as the world's wealthiest country. Thanks for watching everybody. Please smash the like button and subscribe. Go and check out Meet Kevin's channel. Look at his plans. Look at his plan to become governor. Even if you don't live in California, go to his website and if you like his plan, donate. Because the big politicians have tons of money coming from companies like Facebook and different things like that. Kevin isn't a politician. He doesn't have that kind of support. He needs all of us to help him. He is by far 
the best option we have for a governor. And he could make so many changes that will bless the lives of all of us. So join me in voting for Meet Kevin. Vote yes on recall for Gavin Newsom. And then vote yes on Meet Kevin Paffrath for governor. Once again, not supported by Kevin, not endorsed by Kevin. This is just my own opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. But I think Kevin's plan is awesome. And I really hope that he makes it. Because he is by far the best person for the job.